Uh, I see my old friend Paul Hobo. I know you ran for the state rep, rep I believe it was. State Senate. State Senate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, good to see you. Mike Haley uh, uh, just uh, got off the run for uh, the Springfield seat, Lane County Commissioner. And I hope that wasn't the last time you you throw your hat in the ring. I thought you, you look pretty good there. We're working on it. Okay. Then, of course, my old friend Jim Torrey. Uh, year, years of mayor of uh, the city of Eugene. I see they're listening to you. There's a lot of pavement going on, going down in Eugene right now this summer. And don't blame me for the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bill Leo. Leo Leo. Leo Leo. I'm sorry. Bill Leo Leo. You were a state representative. No. I, well, I was. I was. I've run for school board also in okay. Springfield and. Uh, yeah, and you still Cover got a, most recently. You got a lot of mileage left on you too. Uh, then uh, there's Tony Nathan, who uh, has run for different things. One thing she ran ran for, she ran against me in in the 1980s during the last Great Recession, and I never did tell her this, but I thought that she she had one of the most creative campaign lines that I've ever heard. She said, see all these for sale signs out here in South <coughs> Eugene? Those are Jerry Rust re-election signs. Remember that? <laughs> that was a good line, Tony. It made me mad, but uh, uh, I, I can laugh about it now. <laughs> and then uh, Sid Likin, uh, who uh, mayor of Springfield, whose uh, turf we're on right now, I've got a couple of things in common with uh, with Sid. We're both from Douglas County. Uh, also, we both spent our Saturdays uh, cleaning out uh, uh, barnyard materials. Yeah, we did. And uh, that probably prepared us for our uh, eventual life in uh, politics. Well, it. Now, I'm delighted to be here this morning and thank or this afternoon. Thank you very much again and again uh, for for letting me come on. Uh, I just mentioned nostalgic on a nostalgic note. The last time I spoke as Lane County Commissioner was before the Rubicon Society. You were kind enough to then to allow me to say a few words on my way out the door. That was in 1997. Um, well, the world's changed a little bit since I was in office 13 years ago. Let me just refresh you. My, you may have heard my name, but, but just let me tell you a couple of things about myself. I, I grew up in Douglas County in a Republican household on a farm. I milked the cows every morning before I went to school. Caught the school bus at 7.30. Uh, just came from my 49th class reunion at Glide High School where I was student body president, was in the band, I was in 4-H, I was a Boy Scout, I was baptized in the Baptist Church. Probably some of you by now are saying, what went wrong <laughs> after that kind of a background? Uh, well, let me tell you, those small town values can I say conservative values have never left me, and uh, and I think match the values of my district, West Lane County. Um, some of you, if you grew up on a farm, uh, you know what it takes to make a farm work. A lot of hard work. That's part of my value system. Hard work, perseverance, belief in honesty, fiscal conservatism. Um, let me m mention a couple of, of, of things that are just <coughs> go right to the top of the list of what we have to worry about uh, as we look at this next year. You know, and it's, it's no secret to anybody here has, who's been following the news. 48 out of 50 states are in drastic fiscal shape right now. 
Oregon is no different, and Lane County is a microcosm of that. We're 10% of the state of Oregon, and Lane County has a structural deficit, a tremendous uh, uphill uh, push to go here. Uh, if, and we deserve it, we deserve to get our renewal of our ONC payments because the game changed so much in the 80s with the spotted owl and, and the like. Uh, even if we get that funding from Congress, Lane County is still going to have to cut its, bu its budget. I think it's pretty clear we can't tax our way out of the situation we are in. The place that we can uh, control our destiny is on the expenditure side of our budget. We have to. We have to do a good job of cutting back our spending. Now, I didn't mention Jim Peterson. He was also a, a candidate, and recently he's been a budget warrior with me. We've been down to the county courthouse, and we have urged the Budget Committee and Lane County to uh, ex take a look at the $10 million deficit that has grown in the last year and begin cutting, and, and cutting sooner rather than later. And I'm pleased to say that apparently they have listened to us. On August 17th, the commissioners and uh, staff and the dis district attorney, the sheriff, department heads are going to assemble at LCC, I believe, for an all-day uh, all day session, uh, and you may have seen uh, in the paper a couple of days ago, Lane County employees have come forward with some uh, with some uh, <coughs> savings ideas. Uh, when I when I testified to the budget committee, and I believe I'm the only commissioner candidate, certainly in this race, the only commissioner <coughs> candidate to have testified, I got on record. I ask that we uh, get savings in at least four areas, hold positions open that come open in the course of a year, re-justify that position. So this goes beyond zero-based budgeting. This is, there's a position open in the, in the middle of the year. Why do we need it? What is the justification for it? How much will it cost? Is there a better way to do it? Can we get away with from not, without doing it? And if it can't be justified, that position should <coughs> not be filled. That's one. And by the way, the, this is a playbook out of the 80s. We, we did these things. We did them. But then there was a lot of backsliding in the last few years. Uh, consolidation of services and departments. Uh, cutting high-end salaries. Uh, getting early retirement for um, people who have been there a long time and are at the top of the, the wage bracket. Uh, so essentially we need to collapse the size and scope um, of our government and do more expenditure control. Now, you might be saying, well, that's Johnny Come Lately uh, talk from Jerry. You're a candidate now. Well, the first motion that I made, and you can look it up, January 1977, as county commissioner, I moved to cut the Lane County Board of Commissioners' salaries by 10, 10%. Archie Weinstein seconded my motion, and we passed it by a two-to-one vote. There were only three commissioners at that time. Uh, so I have a record of being fiscally conservative. 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 I'll get the word out, don't worry. 